to another map from the big and happy Chinese New Year. For this question, we are given that x, y are integers satisfy the equation. We want to know how many such order pairs x, y. And the option are a, 3, b, 4, c, 5, and d greater than or equal to 6. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Now, it is not difficult to get some trivial solution by writing the equation as x cubed minus 7x squared equals to y squared minus y cubed. And we can factorize this x squared x minus 7 equals to y squared 1 minus y. If x equals to 0, the left hand side will be equal to 0, so that's the right hand side. And when the right hand side equals 0, y is equal to 0 or y equals to 1. So we we'll have 0, 0, 0, 1 as two possible solutions. If y equals to 0, then x is equal to 0 or x equals to 7. Then in this case, 0, 0 is a repeated uh, answer and we have 7, 0. And we can also have x equals to 7 and y equals to 1 to make the left hand side and right hand side equals to 0. So another possible solution will be x equals to 7 and y equals to 1. So far, we can easily get four different solutions without much calculation. If we observe the equation carefully, then we will know that when x equals to 4 and y equals to 4, then they are also satisfy the equation. So 4, 4 is also a solution. So far, we have so-called five trivial solutions here. 0, 0, 0, 1, 7, 0, 7, 1, and 4, 4. I received many solutions with good observation, and they actually find out all these five solutions. But many of them don't really go to figure out why these are the only five. And now I'm going to show you uh, one of the methods to show why we have only such five solutions. We will let y equals to k minus x for some integer k. Uh, since x, y are both integers, I can just let y to be k minus x. So with this, x cubed is x cubed, y cubed is k minus x cubed, and y again is k minus x. Okay. So we are going to expand this, and this is x cubed. This will be equal to k cubed minus 3k squared x plus 3kx squared minus x cubed. And this will equal to the right hand side, 7x squared plus k squared minus 2kx plus x squared. The reason why we want to do this is you want to get a quadratic equation in x. Note that the term in x cubed will be cancelled off and we will have only x squared. Now, we have a total of 3k minus 8x squared. For x, we have, so it's negative 3k squared plus 2k. Finally, we have k cubed minus k squared. We form a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 with a equals to 3k minus 8, b equals to negative 3k squared plus 2k, and c equals to k cubed minus k squared. Now note that x is an integer and therefore x must be a real number. If x is a real number, then the discriminant has to be greater than or equal to 0. And the discriminant is equal to b squared. b squared is equal to um, negative 3k squared plus 2k. 
square minus 4ac, 4a and c. It must be greater than or equal to 0. Now in this case, I can take out a negative k and square it. I have a k square. Here I also can factorize a k square. So there is a k square here. And we left with 3k minus 2 square. So if I have 9k square minus 12k plus 4 here. This it should be equal to 12k square minus 44k plus 32 greater than or equal to 0. This will be k square, then negative 3k square and plus 32k and minus 28 greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so in this case, k has to be equal to 0 or 3, negative 3k square plus 32k minus 28 greater than or equal to 0. It's not difficult to see that if this polynomial equals to 0, one of the solutions will be lies in between 0 and 1. One solution will be lying in between 0 and 1. Why is it so? Because when k equals to 0, this polynomial equals to negative 28. It's a negative number. And when k equals to 1, this polynomial is equals to 1. It is a positive value. When it's 0, it is negative. When it's 1, it's positive. There must be 0 lying in between 0 and 1. And we see that the negative b over a is 32 over 3. The sum of the root has to be 10 or 2 thirds. And we can check that the other root will be lying in between 9 and 10. k is an uh, integer. So we see that if this is true, k must be from 1 to all the way to 9. So with this, we have a small conclusion that if x, y are integers, then with the relation y equals to k minus x, k can be equal to either 0, 1, 2, up to 9. But not all of them are correct because x and y has to be integers. It means that the discriminant here has to be a perfect square. If the discriminant is a perfect square, um, then this is another question to show that within this constraint, k can be either 0, 1, 7 or 8. Say for example, when k equals to 0, y will equal to a negative x, and we will have the quadratic equations showing that negative 8x squared plus 0x plus 0 equals to 0. So this is equal to 0, and therefore x is equal to 0. And because y is equal to 0 minus x, y will be also equal to 0. So when k equals to 0, when k equals to 0, it was corresponding to the answer 0, 0. And try for when k equals to 1, then this will be equal to a negative 5x squared, a negative x, and equals to a 0. x is equal to 0, or x is equal to negative 1 over 5, which is rejected. So, and y now is equal to 1 minus x, 1 minus x. And therefore, in this case, k equals 1, uh, x equals to 0, y equals to 1. So, for k equals 1, it will corresponding to the solution 0 and 1. And you can check for the rest, and it will corresponding to all the possible solutions that we list here. So, for now, we will look at other people's solution.
enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So that's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next Tuesday. And once again, I wish you 年年有余 and 万事胜意. Bye bye.